sleeping because they live life without burden, without passion. Arnold Schwarzenegger, popularly called Commando, he also acted the movie called The Terminator. He was the governor of California. He said, one time I wanted to build up my body to be Mr. World. And I began to do 5,000 push-up a day. Sir, not 50. I do push-ups daily. When it gets to 40, your body will tell you something. Doesn't matter who you are. Your body will tell you. Huh? <laughs> you do four. You are not doing anything. <laughs> My wife at times sees me doing push-ups, 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 and she's looking at me. When it gets to 50, your body, this guy was doing 5,000. He will do up to 500, he will rest. He will go back again, do, he will rest. Sometime before the end of the day, they will carry him from the gym. But he's gone. What kept him on? Passion. Passion. He will, that's one of the... When you see people reading at night, reading at night, reading in the day, it's not because they are mentally derailed, it's because they have passion and body. Am I communicating? I was, I was talking to my wife this morning, and my wife asked me, said, what time is it? I said, 3 a.m. I said, oh, 3 a.m. They will soon break, oh. I didn't know I was studying 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 not studying because there is a set day for an exam in your journey of destiny every day is an exam body when you see people you say I fasted and I wept I fasted least please I want to say this to you as you hear me well please it's important what is it that is driving you what is that thing that feels and overwhelms your spirit that you say to yourself this is what I am pursuing when you have a burden you cannot be easily discouraged when you have a burden you cannot be easily traumatized when you have a burden when there is something that you are looking at and expecting you cannot easily be wavered or shaken because there is a pursuit there is something in your heart there is something you pursue no wonder Paul said you know what he said in first Corinthians 9 16 necessity is laid upon me to preach the gospel whoa give me the message translation give me the message translation I proclaim the message is not to get something out of it for myself I am compelled to do it and doomed if I don't I am compelled that's why your life gets better your life shines brighter someone said to me how come every time we hear you speak it is better it is brighter i said because there is a goal and there is a burden there is a burden there is a burden there's something inside of you proverbs 4 18 the path of the just is like a shining light the promises of god in scripture cannot be fulfilled maximally for a man who doesn't have a burden inside of him it's not just thinking of success for himself he's seen transgenerational success says psalm 37 25 i was young but now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken nor is seed begging bread proverbs 13 22 for a good man live it live it live it an inheritance for his children's children and the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous you are not just thinking about yourself you are thinking about generational impact you are thinking about Nehemiah was not the only Jew how many of you know in the time of Abraham when God called Abraham out of his father's house Abraham was not the only one who saw idolatry the reason God called Abraham out of his father's house was because his father was like a chief priest idolatry only Abraham saw it and refused there were many Jews that saw the statute and bowed down only Mordecai refused there were many people that refused to pray but only Daniel said no I will pray 
no wonder the king came to him in Daniel chapter 6 verse 20 oh Daniel as thy God whom thou servest be able to deliver you what drives men to make impact is burden you're just there nothing is moving you you're finished though nothing just wake up you sleep there's nothing driving you nothing driving you there's nothing this lockdown period some people finish human resource courses online some finish de developmental courses online and some are busy browsing I know a friend of mine who finished a three months law, law, law program a certificate program online and some are busy browsing browsing looking for updates of NCDC Eh? 63 new cases now wow. where will they go wait till tomorrow tomorrow 38 new cases you are getting old NCDC worker you are waiting for updates updates NCDC worker are you serious active 15 dead now wow. these people are not wearing they are not wearing their mask they are not some died with the mask some are the mask they died with the mask carrying mask like a surgeon carrying mask like a, like a surgical dog some died with their mask It's like you don't know medically putting that in on your face for 24 hours a day becomes a case you you some nothing is fashion they wear green cloth they wear green mask i don't look at nigeria we turn everything to a joke everything for us is a joke blue cloth blue mask white cloth white mask a disease has now become a fashion to you nigeria is funny everything we turn to a joke The virus entered Nigeria. I saw young men shouting, Koro, Koro, Koro. I said, What kind of people are these ones? They sent me a video. One said, Koro. How many times did I call you Koro? Koro. I said, Jehovah. Everything in Nigeria is a joke. They know how to kill tension. But that's what you, you spend three months doing. Three months wasted. That cameraman, you will you you will explain to me why you did what you did. She's 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 keeping safe. Are you ready? Are you, are you following what I'm talking about? Listen, hold on, look here. It's all right, it's all right. Let's not make mockery of anybody. Do you know people that are making impact don't have 10 heads? How many? Oh, talk to me, Omega. How many? One! We are ending service on, on, on Friday, and I told us how Daddy Gio was talking about roofing. I told you the story. Roofing the first auditorium. And they needed 25 billion to roof it. And they were about to call people who are going to support that was the period banks we are told to submit 25 billion as deposits to know their capacity or they will merge them many banks were merging because they didn't have that in revenue they were merging 25 billion and that was what they needed to roof why are they about to call the funds one man not man one man somebody bring 25 billion it's not a man he's men one man just sent a note he said don't worry i'll take care of it what banks could not produce one people if you call that kind of person man you are in trouble you call him person money we we will flog you one people one people is a people there is impact you produce you become a people he said two nations are in thy womb two manner of people this is one people another people you are carrying nations 
what is your body what is driving you and you can never have passion without vision vision thrives on the wings of passion what is your vision for your life i saw a young man from university of benin and i said how are you? are you you've done your exam say yes i've done my jam i said what do you want to read he said eh, what is in my mind sha it's messy but if i don't get my paper food and nutrition i said you have failed already you have already failed focus on that medicine doesn't matter many times you write it focus on that medicine focus is go people that are doctors don't have 10 heads so why are you scared not 10 heads am i communicating here people that are lawyers sons don't have 10 heads what is your body what is your body? what is that thing that is driving you i studied my bible i discovered when it was time to call out the sons of israel some of them were fourteen thousand. some of them were ten thousand some of them were five thousand but the sons of Issachar were 200 yet they control their brethren the sons first chronicles 12 32 he said the sons of Issachar were men who had understanding of their times for they knew what israel ought to do first chronicles 12 and verse 32 they were just 200 but they were men who understood their time ladies and gentlemen any man who has a vision any man who has a passion any man on a mission he is always ahead of his generation don't seek a building don't seek a property it is your mission that brings your mansion somebody shall burden shall burden shall burden I'm not hearing shall burden his hunger was at the wall of Jerusalem was broken down listen to me are things not broken down now is security not broken down in this country I'm very happy at the leadership we have now the presidency I'm happy somebody said to me why would you say that I said because if the man had not become president they would have still be saying he was is the best So it, it would have been like a woe. A woe is being called the best president Nigeria never had. And so this one entered to, to show you the, the reason to value what you have. Many of us in life want everything. In the days of corruption, there was food. Now, no corruption, hunger. supporting corruption no but the thing is this the people that are stealing now are stealing more in those days they were stealing with suit and tie now they steal with babariga i can't support corruption no way i can't support corruption if you recover money it doesn't go around it means you recover it somebody pocketed it i told i tell him i don't want verse this money i just Let, let, let's let me preach the bible i don't get it number two <laughs> number two no today's father's day let me just behave myself you know. number two right connection somebody say right connection i can't say you say right connection say right connection Nehemiah's anointing for you to come on you for speed to come on you you must have body number two you must have the right connection the right people the right connection the right people the right connection the right contact the bible says in genesis 2 18 it was not good for man to be alone god said it's not good for man to be alone he did say that man was lonely man was alone there's a different those of you that want to get married because you are lonely you are even in marriage you'll be more lonely you don't need a partner.
partner or a friend or a connection because you are lonely you need it because you are alone man was not lonely because man had animals they were chimpanzees, they were gorillas, they were he named them, they were things keeping him company. But man had a vision and he needed it to be complete. He needed somebody to help him complete it. So you only talk about marriage or settlement when you have a vision you cannot carry alone. You need somebody to come into your life and help you carry the vision. Not because you woke up at night, there is nobody to touch on your bed. Not because you woke up at night, there's nobody to talk to. No, if that's your problem, you are lonely. Until you discover your vision. Let me show you something in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to verse 10. He said, Two are better than one, for they shall receive a reward for their labor. But look at me look at verse 10 he said he said what to him that is alone if he fall what will happen for if they fall one will lift one and his fellow but what to him that is alone when he fall look here what he said if they fall one lifts another the other when he fall when you have a connection the right people your falling is conditional if when you are alone your falling is certain when he said if they fall once you have some the right person in your life meaning it will be hard to fall when you are alone he said when he falls can i show you? oh lord oh rokataba look here look here look here okay let me show you look up oh look here in mark chapter 2 look here look here there was a man who was sick of the palsy he couldn't move is that true is that true in john chapter 5 there was a man by the pool of bethesda he couldn't move both of them have the same condition one was healed why he had four friends he had the right connection one was there he said i have no man one said i have no man i hear people say i don't need anybody i need god i was in the church one time a young boy was praying he said oh let's pray we don't need any man we need god we need only god when i got up the altar i said young man let me advise you you need man and god because no matter the vision you have it takes the right man that is why a bird flies with two wings one for god one for man that is why the the, the cross is a sign of plus why is a is a sign of plus it is vertical it is horizontal it means vertical means relationship with god horizontal means relationship with man and it goes down so we can deal with the devil am i talking to somebody right now you must understand you need vertical relationship with god you need horizontal relationship with man you must get close to god you must get connected to man It's your network that determines your net worth. It's your network. What are you telling me? Your network that determines your net. Your value in life, your solidity is directly proportional to the God you serve, and inversely proportional to the men you know. Your solidity as an entity is directly proportional to the God you serve and inversely proportional to the men you know. Somebody say, how can somebody just come now and use his connection to just outshine me? That is what connection is meant for now. It's meant to outshine people who don't have it. Don't feel bad just get connected too so you can outshine the shiner that's what connection is meant for is <laughs> one day we are we are at the queue waiting to buy fuel this was 2005 or so um 
2005. I was rushing home. I needed to put friend in the car because I was to take mama somewhere to Benin. And we are there waiting. A man just drove. Pew! Bam! Put his car in front. Somebody drove behind him. And we were finding the car. I started laughing. People said, no, 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 no. The owner of the gas station said, if you are not staying on the queue, get out. This man is my friend. So I said, you push your shut up. This man is his friend. Who is your friend? Who is your friend? This is life. It's not, it's not being partial. It is the benefit of connection. It's not you can't allow your friend to stay on the queue. So what is the benefit of the friendship? <laughs> not so you are that's being partial. It's not being partial. There's a sacrifice that friend has paid that you have not paid to maintain the friendship. So you should enjoy the benefit of that sacrifice. Anybody you see shining today? Okay, let me show you this. Look, how many of you know on the mountain? The Bible says Moses climbed the mountain when they were, there was a fight. I said, Joshua, go and fight. He said to Heron, hold me here. He said to her, hold me. So both of them held his hand. You remember the story? The Bible says, when his hand goes up, Israel prevailed. When his hand came down, what happened? Israel lost. So he was on the mountain with his hand held like this. Joshua was on the valley and was conquering. People saw Joshua slaughtering heads, slaughtering heads, and we are hailing Joshua, not knowing that somebody was behind holding his hand for him. Sometimes you see somebody shining, it's because he has oh Lord, oh Shah, he has got somebody backing him up. When you see somebody celebrating, he has got somebody behind him. Some people are busy filling forms. Some are looking for platform. Why some are filling forms? Some just need platforms. One time I was in a, I was in a part of Europe, and one of my pastors. That was his first time of traveling. I had crossed the immigration. I had. I was almost entering the plane. When I look, 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 look on the queue, he wasn't there. He wasn't there. I turned back. The plane was about to leave, meaning I have to change my flight time. The next flight going there will come in two hours. I think we we're going to Paris. And I turned back, left again, and I saw him. The immigration held him. They say he cannot travel. So I came and I introduced myself. He said, Oh, oh, you, you that lives in the air. You know him? I said, Yes. He said, Are you sure? I said, Of course I know him. He said, are you sure? I said, I know him. He said, okay, go with him. So I took him. We now crossed. But I've missed my flight. So we had to reschedule, pay some money for the next flight. I held his hand and we crossed. He started crying. He says, I know foundation is following me. Wait, don't laugh. He said, I know foundation is following me. He said, but I prayed. They still held me. I said, no. The answer to your prayer is a man. Today he goes up, he goes abroad like that. He goes abroad. And one of my most committed sons, he goes up. I turn back. I could have entered the plane. I could, if I was conscious of myself, I would leave him there. But I said, no, you guys can go. I'm not going. To have somebody. And I turn back. I saw him seated like a chicken, that rain as you know, in the corner, just there. I said, what is the matter? See, they're interrogating him, asking him questions and all that. So I came. I said, I know him. And they know me so it's okay go with him and we left you have been detained quarantined isolated because you lack a man hey receive your man receive your man that's your amen is looking for my trouble can i go on now you need a man look at christ himself he never began ministry he never began movement without a man follow me 
follow me follow me as soon as adam was loaded with all the graces that god has deposited and god said it's not good for man to be alone 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 means you are one that's why it's called alone all one all one alone all one all one there are certain things Nehemiah knew that he could not rebuild the wall despite the burden he had there are so many of you who are very talented there is giftings on your life but the problem you lack the right person to help you push it you lack the right person to help you push it there is unction and there is grace you are talented in certain dimensions maybe you are very good in the kitchen you can cook very well you have been cooking for free but there is somebody that comes to your life and tells you to commercialize your capacity and ability to cook there are some of you you are very good mentally you can fix hair and you have been doing for free but someone comes into your life and says let's commercialize it some are good in the world of fashion and you've been drawing designs for free but someone comes into your life and helps you i have a friend who has been who is a lawyer people call him what does the law say about this he will just open his mouth the law said hey, pr -pr 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 -pr. he will talk what does the law say about this and the law said in the eyes of the law hey, pr -pr -pr -pr. he's a terrible and solid lawyer in the country i called him i said can i talk to you he said are you busy he said no I said there is something called consultation if people ask you advice of life give them free but you paid school fees to read law let them pay consultation to get legal counsel can i shock you now he makes money before he handles your case they'll first ask him he'll tell you that he has to discuss with you the possibility of winning or losing if you should go to court or not at all he will show you or put all the cards on the table you will pay him for that he has not represented you and whatever he analyzes is 90 percent you pay him for that you analyze and analyze say in this country with our judicial system this 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 you won't win before then you have dropped money imagine dropping consultation fee to be told you won't win <laughs> free now you say i should kill goliath what shall be done for the man i don't do things for free anymore what shall be done for the man that kill it this uncircumcised there are many of you there is so much on your life but you have lacked men even god himself can't do without a man Ezekiel 22 verse 30 I sought for a man Jeremiah 5 1 said go around the city seek for a man look for a man that seeks justice God said himself in this man the man by the pool said in John 5 verse 7 he said I have no man Jesus asked him how long have you been here he said I have no man in other words you waste duration you waste duration when you lack donation of men you waste duration of time when you lack the donation of men when you lack men in your life time flies when you lack men in your life time flies when you lack the right people in your life time flies but wherever you are i speak to you from the north the east the west the south receive the right man Bakusuti. There are people who are hungry and stranded in this recession. And there are some people doing reception inside recession. They are doing what? Reception inside recession. The wealthiest man, Amazon, the wealthiest man in the world now hit 100 billion dollars in quarantine fresh i'm not saying that's what he, he made fresh 
100 billion US dollars it tripled the wealth of Bill Gates in the midst of quarantine he has dumped Bill Gates in the midst of quarantine somebody sat down and was creative and you you have been watching updates so have you heard have you heard hmm, these people what they want to do in this life it will not work it will not work it will not work it will not work they want to kill us no problem it will not work china 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 they said it was in one lab in china they said no it was in wuhan 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 he said no it's not not wuhan in beijing in beijing no 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 argument without payment and somebody was there got the right team the best thing i enjoy today is the right people god has i've met the wrong ones oh but i've also met right ones i married the right wife i have right pastors i have good children it is always about people listen in life there are some that will stab you I was talking yesterday and i said to somebody to people i said when you see the water and the fish you think you are friends you will not believe what the water can contribute when the fish is being cooked you see the water and the fish you say they are friends it enter boom the water accepts it but if you want to see betrayer is when the fish is being cooked you will see the how the water contributes to it is celebrating same fish that has been coming to you for shelter if the water can betray the fish what makes you feel friends can betray you but there are still people there is a friend proverbs 18 24 there is a friend that speaketh for he that has a friend must show himself friendly for there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother there are some of you your blood relatives may betray you your blood relatives may stab you but there are people god can put in your life no wonder they said to jesus thy mother and thy brethren wants to see you and he said who is my mother who is my brother these are my mothers and my brother that do the will of he that sent me god is bringing the right people into your life people that will stay people that will honor you people that we announce you somebody say i need connection So you need connection i say you need connection man is not created for isolation man is created for connection have you <laughs> i don't know if you know there are some people look here i don't know there are some people when you come around them they say leave me i want my space yeah eh? they want their what they want to be during quarantine they were begging to come outside they gave them their space government and nature gave them their space for three months they were crying that they want to come out everybody wants to come out why man is not created for isolation man is created for condition now don't forget using the sign of the cross there must be vertical what is it you must relate with god and relate with people you can't really claim to relate with god when you don't relate well with people Somebody met me say, Daddy, all this one that all of us sisters are getting old, 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 and brothers are not talking. What do we do? I say, You talk. He said, Ah, Daddy. Daddy, somebody talk. I thought women cannot talk. I said, There is a way to say something without saying anything. There's a way to talk without talking. No. The brother just comes and Hmm, nice shoe. Keep quiet. They wait. Carry face like mommy water. You think anybody will ask you out? I don't know the problem you have that you don't frown. You don't smile rather. Your And you think that frowning connotes spirituality? Says who? 
Frowning does not come. Children run to Jesus. When you are frowning, children don't come to you. Children come to a playful person. My kids are always around me because I make them laugh. If I scream and yell, they will greet me from far. Boom. How are you? Fine. Brother, sit here. Thank you, Asha. You are a sister, you never smile. There's a way to talk without talking. Ah, bro, nice tie. You look good. That's compliment now. Eh? You keep quiet. You do it once, you do it twice. In a way, you are saying, I dare you. <laughs> if you not talk, you talk. There are some brethren, in their mouth, foundation that is fighting them. They never talk. They will sit down with a good. Bible says that find that a wife, find that a good thing. The brother is sitting down with good thing. But the power of his father's house doesn't want him to talk. Help is deliverance by making yourself noticed. I mean, I'm not tired of wedding. I want to wed people. I'm not tired. Even if it's Tuesday, honey. If wedding is too much on Saturday, we face on Tuesday. Papa, I don't have money to marry. Do cabin biscuits. Marry! Yeah. It's a family church that's a healthy church. When church is full of family, so you must, must you kick out? Must you kick out? What did the, what did the, wait, what did the cow do that you want to kill it on your wedding? Do a wedding, yes, yeah. You know, kick cow head. I'm not a murderer. You know, kick God. I'm not a murderer. I will give you bis cabin biscuits. I will give you sprite. If you cannot eat, go. Don't stress yourself. Don't stress yourself. I was entering the car with my wife on our wedding day, and somebody came to me say, "Food has finished." I said, hey, "Wedding has finished now." I entered my car. If wedding finish, would food finish? If food remains, for which wedding again? A brother passes you, he smells good. Now lie. That's how you owe yourself. I'm a woman. I want to maintain my dignity. I want to maintain my dignity. See, poor correct perfume. Brother, Paluka correct suit. Compliment him. No. I must maintain. If I now talk, he will feel that it's too much. Is it not too much? Is it not too much? Say something. If I now talk, now he will carry it. I cannot talk. I'm a woman. I can maintain my. I, you are 45. Oh, let me remind you. You are 45. You are 45. Compliment him. Okay, uh, let me close. Sorry. <laughs> there is a way to say something without saying anything. Look at one of our daughters today, Pastor Zeme's wife. That was a lady that would come and dance with old women many years ago at that church. She would dance with elder women, dance with elder women. When he came and he brought her to me, he said, Daddy. See who I want to marry. I see approve, seal, sign, deliver. Why? I know this one. I know this one. Do something we know you for. You come to church. That's how you, you, you behave like bows. You go and sit at the back of the church. We don't know you. You know, even if front is free, no, you must sit at the back. You came earlier. Say, come and say, mm, I got my share. compliment people mama and i will do that a lot i say nice shoes i do it a lot nice jacket that's it is nice so nice jacket some them have called some pastor come close i just say them you look nice ah thank you sir thank you sir make people feel good no you mm. that's how you stay there like mount zion olumo rock Mount Zion that cannot be moved. You just sit down there. You, you don't you don't see anything. Why? If I know my man now and talk, it will not be carry body, carry body, carry body. It will carry body, carry body, it will carry body, carry body. It will <laughs> Some brothers, I don't know what happened to you. 
a brother in this job met me okay he has been transferred he was working in town he met me and said i should pray for him all the sisters he approached no one agreed to marry him he said he now said there is one he's talking to that other one is doing summer i said bring her he brought her to my office two of them sat down i said yeah ask her out <laughs> he wants to marry she wants to marry i'm not a prayer forget shakara i know a prayer she won't marry forgot the mary Kay and some people have used mary Kay, so say mary will stay one place case stay the other side it's in a scattered <laughs> so hold on i said yeah, ask her he started say sister more grace yay <laughs> He said, more grace. Uh, he said, uh, you know, you're in that department. Hope you are faithful in your department. Uh, I said, does this guy know there are people outside waiting to see me? Uh, I'll be seeing you. The way you love God, I like it. More grace, yeah? More grace. As if I slap you. Sister, he told me he saw you. He likes you to marry you. So both of you should start a relationship without sin. And believe God that you get married. I said, two of you leave my office. Relationship has started. Get you're asking somebody and in marriage you are telling her she's faithful in her department are you married in her department okay i'm sorry let me just round up this message <laughs> number three sacrifice she must receive the anointing for speed you must understand the place of sacrifice Nehemiah was a cook was a bartender but yet he fasted child of God is not easy for a cook to fast <laughs> all the shri 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 all the spices enter your nose and you are fasting there are some of us who make up our mind to do three days you just pass kitchen the first day you pass kitchen as you pass kitchen you hear the voice if i say my son your prayers are answered <laughs> that was not the voice of the holy spirit it was the voice of pandemia i'm here <laughs> in psalm chapter 50 verse 5 he said gather my sons who have entered a covenant with me by sacrifice covenant thrives on the platform of sacrifice if you must get a greatness level tomorrow you must be ready to sacrifice something today i tell people all the time when they see me quote scriptures some of them think it's just a grace i say size a grace but sacrifice the sacrifice of study the sacrifice to read the sacrifice to put things in our spirit that is why he says that was they found jeremiah 15 16 and i did eat them and they became a rejoicing to my soul in first timothy 4 15 god wants us to meditate on these things we should give ourselves wholly to them so that our profiting may appear before all when you give yourself to the word the word give itself to you Fifty percent of those who are following our ministries online, who have reached out to me, always say something. By connecting to you, I've read through the Bible. 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 But it comes with a price. Anytime you study, get ready for a show. Second Timothy two fifteen. Study to show. Study to show. When you study, it shows. Thyself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Or rightly. What is your sacrifice? You sleep more than others and expect to enjoy what they don't enjoy. You sleep more than them and expect to make impact. What price are you paying today? What price? What are you letting go, sister, for your business to thrive? You may carry that hair for two weeks without fixing it because you are thinking of investing the money in something. You carry that hair for one month. No weave on nothing. You are keeping the money for something. 
some of you want to enjoy today and enjoy today. you are too materialistic some of you are too materialistic to have a future all your thing is today i bought a phone very expensive too expensive i use it i bought the same thing for my wife about four five we came from america about five months or seven months ago the phone is still in the chef one day i can say come you what did they worry you see my husband this one i'm using is he crying see i'm, I'm okay but i know people today who will do everything to just get the latest even when they can't afford it you must learn to let some things go today you can't listen if you get payment if you pay today you pain tomorrow if you pay today you pain tomorrow but if you get pain today you gain tomorrow you want everything as a young lady what will you have as a woman you want everything as a young boy you want everything of life all the pleasure of life all the pleasure of life today you want everything then what about your tomorrow what is the sacrifice your husband wakes up to pray that's how your husband tapping my wife let's pray ah, robo, 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 robo. they pray i will join you robo, robo, robo. you are gone 1999 we are doing vigil the brother was sleeping throughout <laughs> we are now quiet we are hearing the word he was sleeping all of a sudden we heard <laughs> we are feeding him he woke up <laughs> don't look around we all burst into laughter we are feeding on the word they were feeding him in his sleep how many hours a day do you sacrifice how many hours how many days in a week do you sacrifice what are you ready to let go now life is not for show off if you always show off you will soon go off what is that don't copy your friends not all of them are going somewhere some of them are going nowhere that is why they live anyhow now copy them don't copy them am i communicating here what is the sacrifice for unto us a child is born a son is given children are born sons are given Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 sons are given sons are given to a cause given to a vision given to a pursuit sacrifice they give themselves to something children are merely born you want everything in one day Solomon Grundy you want everything in one day everything in one day you must understand the place of ma ma material sacrifice material sacrifice let me say this to you you buy a big plasma big like this and you buy a plasma that is like this do they show the same thing no it's not true the big one shows people bigger the small one shows smaller so the big one is better no the same the same the same the same the same same pictures how can you buy weave on on credit how can you fix hair on? what is your problem who are you trying to impress god brought you to this world to express yourself not to impress someone you are created to express not impress <laughs> the money god gives you 
today's prosperity is meant to arrest tomorrow's adversity the words god gave you when money come to your hand don't spend it send it i said to them i said when i when we are fighting for the church it's not because we are we are stranded let them close church for 10 years i can't be hungry 10 years 10 years i will still be wealthy why income every wise man that must succeed in life must have, have at least four streams of income that's how the water that's how the water that flows flows to the, the plan of a villa the four streams the city of gold so you must have at least four streams it might be something minor lady told me she doesn't have money i said get a bike do balance and carry put your money somewhere don't wait you have one massive investment as we grow in life those of us that have houses you build a big house as you grow in life you start regretting it because you are getting to 70 80 you can't climb you will relocate from upstairs to one room in a corner so what what was all that waste for material sacrifice number two spiritual sacrifice your time for prayer must be fixed stop browsing at that time turn the data off turn the data off and go into prayer go into study of the word of god you must be spiritually fit spiritual sacrifice number three mental sacrifice you must pay price buy books buy books go to the bookshop buy and read develop your mind i beseech you brethren romans 12 1 and 2 by the message of god that you present your body a, li a living sacrifice holy and acceptable which is your reasonable service be not conformed to this word but be ye what transformed by the renewing the devil is after your mind if you have no mind nobody will mind you philippians 2 5 say let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus what made jesus jesus was his mind learn it Nehemiah paid the price he fasted because there are three people against him sambala tobiah geshem they were against him and we see sambala in our lives sambala means sin iniquity is against us in our journey of greatness tobiah means one that loves god the third is geshem they are it means a stout one one that is stubborn it's not demonic it's not diabolic it's just envious of you we see three categories of brethren in the church the sambalat those who are full of iniquity the tobiah those who are lovers of god geshem those who are naturally envious but it takes sacrifice to put them in their place every sacrifice today produces dividend tomorrow am i communicating here to invest you see to eat today is to waste tomorrow i think this has lent as this experience we just passed through has taught some of you wisdom you finish eating food you finish eating food you were satisfied no you went outside went to go and buy juice to wash it down after eating normal food you went to buy beef meat suya that's how you stand a whole you hod stood in front of aboki oh yeah turn up turn up turn up turn up oh yeah alubasa 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 <laughs> yeah, oh yeah put pepper i like my suya spicy after eating food you wasted it and time for quarantine you were faced with hunger <laughs> during isolation hunger all the suya you ate it was time to give account <laughs> be 
please sacrifice i release upon you the passion for sacrifice the passion for impact the passion for speed thank you for watching udeme fruitful channel 